Unfortunately, not everyone will get to be home for the holidays this year. A lot of kids sadly will be in the hospital at Phoenix Children's, but an Arizona home building company is making sure they still have a Merry Christmas and that is something good. So Colton is live this morning at Phoenix Children's with wow, a big delivery. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Tess. Yeah, take a look at all of these toys here. It reminds me of me being a kid going to the toy store. Remember when those were around? Well, yeah, this is Toyland here at Phoenix Children's, and you can see a whole bunch of people from the community. They dropped off all of these toys here to help kids who are staying at Phoenix Children's over the holiday feel a little bit brighter this Christmas. And the one who really helped to make this big push is uh, Fulton Homes. So we're joined this morning by Karenna to talk about how the community got involved and the toys that you guys brought here this morning. Sure. So this is a big year for Fulton Homes. We've been doing this 25 years. Um, so this year we decided to engage some of the Fulton communities. So collection bins were set up at um, neighborhoods across the valley and, and folks contributed. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, it's being at, at home around the holidays is such an important piece. And, and if you are forced to spend the holidays in the hospital, we wanted to help bring some of that magic to the hospital. And we were talking um, earlier, and this used to be just like a, like a closet space full of toys, but now we've got this entire room decked out literally looks like a toy store. It just shows that the community has grown with this program. Yes, yes, and, and Fulton Homes has um, helped lead the charge, but certainly that's a much bigger community effort these days and, and so grateful for everyone that's participated. Awesome. I want to bring in Tim with uh, Phoenix Children's now, and uh, pretty incredible here. I know that uh, a lot of kids are going to unfortunately have to be here for the holidays, but this helps kind of normalize things. It does. You know, it's kind of one of those things that people don't get to spend Christmas at home so we want to be able to have something that would be a little bit special and unexpected for a lot of families as they're not thinking about the holidays they're thinking about you know how can I get my kid better and get them home mm -hmm. and looking at some of the toys here we've got some really good stuff we've got some tablets we've got uh, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I mean across the gamut we've got all these cool toys we have everything, yeah. We've got all age appropriate, you know, and, and everything that you would imagine, sort of your Lego sets and, and upwards, but it's the community and, and partnerships like Fulton Homes that help deliver that, and it's teenagers that get gift cards, and then it's like the smaller ones that might have a, a doll or a toy car that they maybe want. So we cater to everybody. So it is really a toy store here. And people still can drop off really quickly, right? They still can. We're going through the through Monday, uh, but we need as many as we can get so we can really make a fabulous Christmas for our kids. Awesome. Tim, well, thank you so much. And uh, you guys, really a really great program here. You've heard them say that it's grown for several years uh, from a closet all the way to this huge entire conference room here. So uh, definitely test something good here in our community. So oh, I love it. That's what the season is all about. Thank you so much, Colton. And these are exactly the stories we love hearing about something good happening right here in our own backyard. So if you know someone, see a group or a business spreading kindness, we'd love to hear about it. You can go to our website, azfamily.com forward slash something good. Don't forget to include any photos or videos. We know there's extra good happening during the holidays.